obviously this is my last shot and I I know where you're coming from. You don't want to eat completely understandable. Yeah. Like you don't want anybody else going. Oh, and no. it's hard for you to probably look at me seriously right now. Yeah, I know. It is, but, but try to try to disregard <laughs> this. Disregard your response? To just disregard everything that I'm wearing here. Um, and I know that, you know, I know I should probably talk more quiet. I know that me and you haven't really talked that much and haven't really gotten to know each other that much. But the bottom line is that this is a game. And I got thrown under the bus big time. Like, mm -hmm. Andrew fucked my whole game up completely. Mm -hmm. And I've been very hard on myself that I didn't win HOH this past week. If I won HOH, I was never going to put you up. I never did put you up. I never did anything against you. We just haven't really gotten a chance to know each other. I don't know what your deal is with Rachel. You might have something planned that's completely set in stone that I can't beat or offer anything better. But what I can say is... I really needed to make it to Jewelry House at least because I'm in a huge financial bind. Like I, if I go home this week, I have nothing. Like I'm going home to no house, no car, nothing. So I wanted to at least try to make it to Jewelry House so I could have something. Plus I, I feel like I'm somebody who belongs here. I haven't done anything wrong to anybody. I'm a strong competitor. My mind changes day to day based on the game. I have never had anything specifically against anybody. And when Rachel came to me and said, would you put me up on the block? I mean, she's accusing me of saying that I did say that. But, but I, I never that you didn't. I never would say that. And I said, I don't know. And I think that's, that's a, what she I think told that's, me that you said. I think so. that's why she put me up like that. It was an easy excuse. And I would never... I'm an, I am such an honest person, and I knew my honesty was going to fuck me over in this game because mm -hmm. I told her, I said, I don't know what I would do if I won HOH. I don't know who I would put up. You know, a week before, it would have been somebody else. It's like it changes constantly, constantly. Yeah. If, you know, me and Hayden are against, uh, up against each other, it's a really, really hard position because he's the person that I'm closest to in the house. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, everything has been misconstrued. Um, I want him to stay. I want me to stay. But I know the chances of that are slim to none, especially if we're up there together. And what I can tell you is if you were to do anything for your for him, you know, whether it be take me off the block or take him off the block, I would do anything I could for you because at least I would know that I would have a shot at the jury house and that's the only thing that I care about right now because I'm going to go home to nothing and it's scaring the shit out of me. It, this is a game and, you know, I respect I, I respect whatever decision you you make. But if I were to stay in this game, I would say, you, if you want HOH next week or the following week, to keep your hands clean, I would volunteer myself not to only go up as a pawn, but to go up, mm -hmm. straight up, even if I was the first person in the jury house. I'm volunteering myself so you could have your hands completely clean. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to worry about, say, say Brendan and Rachel go, or Rachel goes, or Matt or Lane goes, or Enzo goes, or whatever. I know you're close with all of them. Say that any of them go and you're up on the block. Say you're up on the block next to Enzo or whatever. It's like the game com completely changes then. And I would do, I would do whatever I could for you at that point because you're my last hope. And I never wanted to have to come to somebody. I never thought I would, would, because I'm a very prideful person. I'm sure that you, mm -hmm. you see that for me, but I, I'm telling you, if I could at least stay until Jewelry House and you win HOH to keep your hands clean, you can put me up. Not just as a pawn, but put straight up, put me up. Because you would be doing me a huge life favor. It wouldn't just be a game thing. And I know that I'm throwing that at you and you probably didn't expect me to say that, but at least I would have that. And I think that I, I, I truly feel that I at least deserve to be in the jury house. Even if I'm the first one there, I, I feel like it's just not right for me to go this early because I was completely thrown under the bus. Complete, complete lies. Like, 
It's been so, the past few days have been so hard for me because I never thought that that, that would happen. Not to mention, Hayden and I were both people who, since day two, said we would stick our necks out for Andrew. And I think he felt completely betrayed because I said to him, as soon as him and Kathy were up on the block, you two go up. Kathy has specifically asked me to be there for her as a friend. Mm -hmm. Andrew had my vote up until what I saw in the living room. I'm sorry, but that was a complete act, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. What I saw, it wasn't right. I didn't want to align myself with him. Not that we ever were, but it was. I was considering it. Mm -hmm. And I guess he felt like if she sees through me, I'm going to throw her under the bus. Mm -hmm. And I purposely never really called him out on it until we got in a huge argument. Mm -hmm. And then when that happened, it was like, okay, I'm going to apologize for her just for cover up. And then threw me under the bus on live national television. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's been a really rough few days for me. And like I said, I don't know what deals you have with Rachel, but I can say after next week, you can put me up. If you want to put me up, and I would never use that against you. If I went HOH, I can guarantee you I would not put you up. I may be rough around the edges sometimes, but I'm, I keep my word on everything I do. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really do. No, I believe you. And I respect you for your gameplay of honesty. I feel like you are somebody who has been completely honest and completely When When front. Monet was up, I know she's your friend, but I was flat out honest. Brittany, if you did this for me, like I would have, I would have your back 100%. And I know that it would be a huge risk for you because Rachel's in such a powerful position. But bottom line is she's not going to be HOH next week. And bottom line is too, is she's going to do anything she can to keep her and Brendan here. And you know, I say whatever I want, I will stand up if somebody does something for me, I will stand up for them. If you did this for me, I would have your back whenever you needed me for whatever against everybody in this house because you would pretty much be saving my life right now. I know that's a lot to put on you, and you can, you can believe it or not. You can do whatever you want, but seriously, I would... Because if it's me and Hayden, I'm going home. I mean, that's the bottom line. If I come off the block... He still has a shot. Now, the replacement factor is a big thing. I'm sure you're thinking that you don't want to see Matt go up. You don't want to see Enzo go up. You don't want to see Elaine go up. And this is where the game gets really hard for me. Because there's only me one and, other person. There's one other person. And I don't think Rachel would do it. And you don't think she would put her up? The thing is, too, is like... I don't know what Rachel would do because I am very meticulous not to say names around Rachel because... And I, and me and Kathy have talked about it. She's like, I want you and Hayden to stay because I know you can at least take them out. Mm -hmm. And that's why she wanted to play so bad today. Mm -hmm. That's why she wanted me to win because she figured, oh, I'll be the replacement. I'll be the replacement. I don't know if you're aligned with anybody. I don't know... I don't know what you have going on because we haven't really communicated at all. All I can say is, yes, I am on, Hayden. I am. That, mm -hmm. That's the only thing that has been true. We mm -hmm. decided over a week ago that we were in an alliance. It would be up to you if you would want to be a part of that or not. Um, and even if you weren't, I would still have your back 100%, like, with whatever. If it was you on the block, if I won the POV, you'd come off. Even if it was up against him, you're saving my life right now. I have, um, if I leave here right now, that I, I mean, I just never expected this to happen this early. I, if I leave here, I'm, I mean, I'm going to walk out the door and I'm going to have nothing. Like I dropped, when I say I, I dropped my entire life for this, I really, 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 really did. And even if you decide, you know, no, I'm not going to use it. It's not a safe move for me. I respect that and I understand it. But keep in mind, Rachel did put you up once. 
she was the one who got Monet out. I'm not trying to talk shit. I'm just saying the facts. Mm -hmm. I haven't done that. And I know we're not close, but this is a game. And I am loyal. I'm honest. And I feel like I belong here. And I don't want to see him go either. I really.